Today marks one year since the release of the first set of images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Here to celebrate those incredible discoveries is NASA expert Amber Strawn. Amber, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. This has been referred to as a time machine. What exactly does that mean? So the great thing about these powerful telescopes is they are able to literally allow us to see into the past. And this is possible because light takes time to travel through the universe. So light from the sun takes about eight minutes to get to the earth. So in essence, we're seeing the sun as it was about eight minutes ago. So you can think about looking at objects that are further away in space, and we're literally seeing them as they were further back in time. And so with JWST, we've been able to look back into the extremely distant universe over 13 and a half billion years into the past to see galaxies as they were a long time ago, right after the Big Bang. How does this work with other telescopes? So the universe is actually filled with light beyond what just our eyes can see, both redder than what our eyes can see and bluer than what our eyes can see. And we're able to build telescopes that are optimized to see the universe in these different types of light. So Webb sees the universe in infrared light, light that's a little more red than what our eyes can see. And this gives us the incredible property to be able to stare through dust to see how stars are being born. And it also allows us to look into the very distant universe to see some of those very distant galaxies. So really incredible things we're able to learn when we look at the universe in all of these different types of light. Amber, we've all been able to see some of those amazing images. What are some of your favorite findings and images so far? Well, it's hard to pick uh, because we've been able to see so much and learn so much over this last year. But some of my favorites are the examples of galaxy mergers. So we had this beautiful image of the Cartwheel Galaxy, which was an example of what happens when galaxies collide. We've been able to see the remnants of stars after stars have exploded and, and sent their contents out into the wider universe. We've been able to see these very distant galaxies further back than we've ever seen before, as well as beautiful images from within our own solar system. The great thing about these awesome telescopes is they're really so capable. They allow us to see every part of space. Amber, that's a beautiful image right there behind you. Tell us about the new image. This beautiful new image that was released today is really just the latest in an example, a year long journey of discovering more about our universe. So what we're seeing here is a stellar nursery. This is a region in space filled with cosmic dust where stars are being born. So these giant red jets that you see here are the telltale signs of baby stars bursting forth from their cosmic cocoons. And so the dust that you're seeing here is actually similar to the dust that our own sun was born from billions of years ago. And so in addition to being beautiful images and teaching us about space, these types of images really do remind me of our own origins, that we're connected to the universe, our own Earth and us. We were born out of regions of space like this. Amber, how can people keep up and learn more? You can keep up with us online. So our website is jwst.nasa.gov and you can find us on the social media platforms at NASA Web. It should be a fun year ahead of new discoveries with Web. All right, Amber, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you.